For flex zone sensor cable to function properly, its center conductor must move freely inside the insulating tube. This video explains how to prepare the flex zone sensor cable prior to installation. Before attaching the sensor cable to the fence, it must be conditioned. Conditioning the sensor cable ensures that the center conductor is loose within the clear tube. It also matches the length of the center conductor to the overall cable. Conditioning requires two people and usually takes less than 10 minutes per 150 meter reel. You will require a one meter wood dowel or rod to dispense the cable, a utility knife or coaxial cable cutter to strip the cable, and two pairs of pliers to grip the center conductor. Remove and discard the packaging. Be careful not to cut into the sensor cable. Retain and refer to the conditioning procedure included within each reel. Dispense the sensor cable in a straight line near the fence. Expose approximately 30 centimeters of center conductor at both ends of the cable. Do not nick the center conductor or it may snap during the conditioning procedure. At each end of the cable, cut a 2.5 centimeter length of the removed cable tube. Thread the exposed center conductor through the cable tube and tie it off near the end. This will prevent the inner conductor from accidentally slipping into the cable tube during the conditioning process. At each end of the sensor cable, use one hand to grip the black jacket and use a pair of pliers to pull back and forth on the center conductor until it moves easily. Initially there will be some resistance, but once the center conductor is conditioned, it will move back and forth easily. Typically, on a 150 meter reel, you can pull out 10 to 30 centimeters of extra center conductor. Once completed, fold the center conductor back over the black cable and secure it with tie wraps or tape so it cannot move during installation. The cable is now conditioned and can be attached to the fence.